telling you, stay still. Your wings keep covering my eyes. I can't see anything. I know, I know this place is near. But please stop flapping your wings. Duck, stay still or you're going to be sorry. Duck, I swear I'm going to hurt you. How dare you land on me? You are a traitor. I'm dismissing you. Go away. are starving. Oh, I'm so hungry. I am really hungry. Huh? A fried chicken farm? And it's free? All you can eat? <laughs> Come here, little munchkins. Come here, my babies. Don't run away. <laughs> I'm gonna eat each and every one of you. You, you, come here. Don't run! Hello, fried wings! Hot and spicy fried wings! Fried wings! Whee! 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 Fried wings! Fried wings! Fried wings! Fried wings! Ah! Oh, it was a dream. How silly! No, no, no! It was a beautiful dream! <laughs> Come here, don't run away. <laughs> oh dear, just a little bit of water. <laughs> Even one drop would be okay. <laughs> huh? Oh, yes, it's coming! <laughs> it's coming! I feel it! <laughs> Maybe four. What are they for? Knock, knock. Who's there? The yellow chicken. Where are they? Climbed up a tree. Where is the tree? It was cut down with the saw. What a bad saw. Where is that saw? Fell in the water. Water? Where is the water? Dried up and evaporated. <gasps> there isn't any water, Sagu. Not even a bit. Wake up. Oh, I'm so unhappy. I mean, thirsty. <laughs> but I'm hungry, too. <laughs> Let's see, an olive. An olive? <gasps> There's only one. Oh, come on, pal. Cheer up and just think of it like a big feast. <laughs> Which part of the olive would you really like to eat? I'd like the low fat part, please. Oh, very well, sir. <sighs> Dinner is ready. 
ready. Time to enjoy it. <laughs> that olive was probably an old fossil. Didn't you see? It broke everything. We are lucky we didn't need it. <laughs> um, it's best to keep a healthy diet. Uh, olives cause gas, you know. Uh, if you're upset about the picture, we can take a new one and replace that. <laughs> Ow! Uh, 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 <laughs> Sagu, tell me, what are we going to do? <laughs> well, we can go out and find something else to eat. Look at that view. <laughs> was it like this before? The rivers had plenty of water. It was green all around. Our only worry was what we were going to eat during the day. Ah! Is that huh? an apple? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. It doesn't matter. It looks like an apple. Ah, you're right. It's an apple. Let's eat the apple. Let's eat that apple right now. We'll eat it fast. We'll eat it slow. We'll eat it all. We'll eat it for sure. You have my word. What was that? I don't understand gibberish language at all. And I don't understand any of their words. Oh, I can feel the cool water flowing. Ah. And look at those watery watermelons. Sweet, sweet watermelons. Ah. Let's go. I want some. Didn't you see? He didn't even give us the apple. Maybe he can give us one of the rotten ones. But he got so mad at us, my head still hurts. Ah. I think we should ask him politely. Okay, let's rehearse it. Hello, sir. We were just wondering if you could be so kind and give us a few of the rotten fruits. <laughs> Says the rotten fruit itself. <laughs> All of my fruits are extremely fresh. Ouch! Why did you hit me? We're just rehearsing, but you need to be ready for that. I understand. Hello there. Uh, I believe you've just opened this place. <laughs> we live right over there, so that makes us neighbors. Get out of here, you worthless creatures, or I will break your necks! Ah! Hello, Mr. Salesman. We came here because we need to ask you for a favor. It seems that you haven't noticed I'm holding a big stick. Greetings, Mr. Salesman. I mean, Your Majesty. We respectfully come to you to ask you if it would be possible to have one of those juicy watermelons. Dear Mr. Salesman, how about you just give us some water? Huh? How about I start beating you guys up? Enough. I'm going to ask him. What are you doing, you crazy man? We came here because we would like some fruit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're generous and a very nice man. You have no idea. You've saved two precious lives. Do you think he wants money, huh? No, I, I don't think so. But, Mr. Salesman, Your Majesty, um, uh, we don't... We don't have any money. Uh, uh, he got mad when you called him Your Majesty. Uh. Why did I even call him Your Majesty? Uh, 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 oh. We can't live here if we don't have money. Oh. What if we... What if we open up a business? A business? What kind of business? Hmm. Lots of vehicles drive around this area. Let's open a car wash. It seems like a crazy idea. What are we going to wash the cars with? With some watermelons? Uh, if 
only we had a watermelon to eat. <laughs> I'm sorry this thing is not going any faster. I honestly want to find that treasure as much as you do. Besides, driving fast cars could be fatal. And you're not blind, I'm a turtle. Turtles tend to go very slow. I didn't stop. It, it stopped by itself. It's not a piece of junk. Stop talking nonsense. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with it. Hmm? Hmm. Did you really fill the whole tank? That's it. This time I'm firing you. Get out. You're fired. Get out. Get out. What are we going to do now? We're stuck in this place. But it's all my fault. I have to trust this goofy, silly crow. Huh? <laughs> salad with this carrot or add it to a soup? Eating raw is the healthiest way to eat. <laughs> Maybe you should write a book called Dishes You Can Make with Wizened Carrots. Perhaps you have more dining options with your potatoes full of worms. <gasps> Tell me, when are we going to eat something delicious? <laughs> what are we going to do? <laughs> Calm down, Pagoo. Let's be grateful of huh? what we have. There are people who can't... Uh... <laughs> huh? Did you hear something? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Oh no, for sure I heard something. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! 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 Hey, stay away, or you'll be sorry. I know karate and also taekwondo. And I'm an expert at dodgeball. You'll have no chance. Wow, they might need help. Uh, I, let's leave right now, Sagu. We can't leave them like that. We have to help them. They don't seem to be doing so well. Oh, but how can we even help them? Sagu, look at us. We are in no position to help them. We are about to eat a carrot and a potato after days of starvation. We certainly can't help them right now. But there's no one else around here, Pagu. We are the only ones who can help them. Ah. Oh. <sighs> Sagu, please, let's leave. Oh. Oh, please help us. Edelwolf is after us. Don't you realize they will die if we don't help them? And don't you realize we will die if we do? <laughs> so I finally have you at my feet. <laughs> Who are you guys? Ah, ah, ah. Oh, 
then I am deeply grateful for doing all that. How do you feel? Well, I feel much better. Um, I'm Eldwin. I'm Sagu, and this is my best friend, Pagu. I'm very pleased to meet you. Gah, gah, gah. All right, calm down. I didn't forget you. <laughs> and this is my assistant, Guck. All he says is Guck, and that's it. Nice to meet you, Guck. Gah, gah. He doesn't know how to talk because he was raised speaking gibberish. Gah, gah, gah. That's no way to talk to me, Guck. Come on, we should go eat. You saved both of our lives. Let's celebrate this victory with a nice breakfast. Hmm, let's bring more things to the table. What do you say, huh? But we don't have anything else to eat. There's a grocery store nearby, but the food is so expensive, and we don't really have any money. Ah, uh, that's not a problem. I have money. Could you please bring me my bag, Duck? Bag? Bag? What do you mean, which bag? The bag. The only bag. The one I've been using for years. It's the only bag I ask you to bring with me every day of my life. Now I'm getting mad, so bring me my bag. <coughs> what? My bag was in the motorcycle? Oh, this is nuts. The, the map is there, you goofy crow. How come you left it there? <coughs> oh, yes, yes, I know. <coughs> I already told you, I know. I understand you didn't have time to worry about it. We were about to die. I'm very sorry, Guck. I already said I'm sorry. All right, uh, we'll go look for my bag. But first, we need to have a very nice breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Um, wait a second. I should save some money somewhere in here to, to get through the rough times. Uh, ah. <laughs> I'm not a wealthy miser. Mm. <laughs> I haven't been this full in a long time. <laughs> ah, thank you so much, Eldwin. Wow, we had forgotten the taste of certain fruits. Ah, oh, please enjoy. I'm deeply grateful for what you did. We get to live another day thanks to you two. <sighs> Why was that wolf after you? I didn't know wolves like to eat turtles. <laughs> this drought got everyone crazy. We're getting pretty insane. Ah, <sighs> the thing is, this place used to be all green and prosperous. Did you know that the road outside used to be an actual river? All the an water is river? all the water is gone and, and the trees have dried up and everybody went away. Everyone except that mean salesman. Uh and since we don't have any money, we'd better leave this place like everybody else. Well, I think this place needs to get back to what it once was. But how can that be? Edelwolf is not trying to eat us. She was after the map that's inside my bag. You said a map? Correct. The map to find the big treasure. A, a big, big treasure. treasure? Listen, why don't we do this? Since your living situation is not optimal, why don't you come with us? I'm looking for the treasure. Let's find it together. Mm, I don't think I'm ready to take on a long journey. Ah, <sighs> and I can only sleep in my own bed. I would be missing my home way too much. And who's gonna feed my cockroaches? We're, We're coming! coming. Uh, tell us, where is this treasure? Hmm, we can get there in a few days. I left a plane right by Fairy Reef. It will be easy once we are there. But first, we really need to get that map back. I do hope Edelwolf doesn't find the motorcycle before we do. Hmm. That salesman is unbelievable. He took all my money and gave me just a few supplies. Well, we should be thankful he didn't go after us. Ah. Don't complain. I can't walk any faster. Don't say a word or I'll pull your wings out one by one. 
<laughs> I can't believe we're gonna be rich! Yes, sounds amazing. And that means no more hunger, no more thirst. All our troubles will be gone forever. There's no one down there. That's what it seems. <gasps> what are we gonna do? We can force her to leave. I wonder which one of us will scare her this time. All of us, of course. <clears throat> what do you want? Get away from me. I'm sorry, Miss Adelwolf, but I've been watching you for a while now, and I believe that you're looking for something. Well, that's none of your business. Just go away, and don't follow me, or I will be happy to pull your eyes out. Oh, whatever you say. I thought you could have some trouble with that. It seems pretty hard. Oh well, I thought I could help you reading all that. Wait a minute. Can you read and write? Of course. <laughs> so does that mean you don't know how? Oh. Of course I can. Everybody knows how to read and write. Uh, I just forgot to bring my glasses, so it is hard for me to see. <clears throat> anyway, since you said you wanted to help me, come over here. Well, uh, there should be a map, but it got mixed with the rest of the papers. Let me see. Hmm. This isn't the map. Mm -hmm. Not the map. Surely this isn't the map. Well, this is definitely not the map. Uh, are you sure? But it looks like a real map. You said you couldn't see a thing. Well, I can barely see, but that looked like a real map. It's not a map, I swear. It's just a bad drawing of a monkey. Of a monkey? Uh, see this right here? This is the nose, and those are the eyes. I don't think that's right. I think you need to wear your glasses. Oh, yes, I know, but that doesn't look like a monkey. Are you sure that's just a picture? It seems like there's something written on it. Oh, you're right. The person who drew it took some notes. Let me read them for you. I didn't know it was so hard to draw a wolf. <laughs> Funny, he wanted to draw a wolf. And now you have the map in your hands. I love you. But it doesn't make sense. I think you are absolutely right. Oh well, this isn't... Uh, I should put it away. Uh, there seem to be directions on the corner of that paper. Uh, I thought you said you couldn't see. Tell me, were you joking when you said you couldn't read nor write? This is unbelievable. Of course I can read and write. I even graduated from college. And I also got my master's degree with a specialization in eating cunning weasels. Oh, wow. Is that so? I wish you had picked a better specialization. Don't get close, or I'll eat the map. I'm serious. And then I will eat you. Ah! Enough, you fool! Give me that map, or I'll eat you! She's coming! She's coming for us! <laughs> oh, that was awesome! I'm starting to enjoy this! Where have you been? I was going to be part of her graduate research. We have to put some gas in this motorcycle, Saku. I'm very sorry. <laughs> but you did a great job. You were fantastic. Oh, oh, and you too, Pagu. You managed to scare that bad wolf in broad daylight. Ka, ka, ka. Yes, I know. You spread your wings at the right time, my friend. <laughs> well, here is the map. We can all get out of here. Oh, dear treasure, we are coming for you! Hmm. Uh, we should get going now. The treasure is waiting for us. Let our journey begin! Uh, can this thing go any faster? Oh, no, it doesn't go any faster. Are you sure? Maybe it needs some repair. It doesn't need to be repaired. I know this motorcycle better than anyone else. I've been driving it for the past 30 years. Uh, can you let me drive it for a little while? Do you have a driver's license? A driver's license? I don't. Then you can't drive my motorcycle. But no one will see us. There is no one in this area. 
Come on, let me drive it for a while. I'll say yes, say yes. Oh no, driving a motorcycle is very dangerous. I can't let you drive unless you have a license. Aren't you bothered by the fact that we could go faster by simply walking? No, of course I'm not. You can walk if you're bored at this speed. Bagu? But what? What on earth are you doing there? I got off and started walking while you two were talking. What? You've been walking? Well, I'm done talking. What are you looking at? That ox over there. What is the ox looking at? The train. Where's the train? In the tunnel. Where's the tunnel? Inside the mountain. Where's the mountain? Dried up and now it's a desert. Do you know what those two are talking about? I'm lost. Are you lost in this place or just in general? Uh, I'm sure it's just a heat stroke. Come on now, let's see what's wrong with that ox. Hello there, ox. H hello there. Why are you so sad? My friends, they're all gone. <laughs> Calm down, it'll all be fine. Now tell us about it. They kept telling me, hmm. run, Pinky, run, run faster. I ran, but I couldn't keep up with them. <laughs> you said Pinky? Oh, yes. Well, my name is Pinky Ox. Kaka. It's not nice to make fun of names, Guck. Why do they call you Pinky? We don't understand. Because my color is pink. Is that so hard to understand? <laughs> and who gave you that name? I don't know, but everybody calls me Pinky. I am pink, aren't I? Are you guys making fun of me? Uh, uh, but you are not all pink? Of course I am. Are you colorblind? See? I'm completely pink. <laughs> that sounds nice. That sounds nice. We are pleased to meet you. I am Eldwin, and these are Sagu and Pagu. <coughs> Ouch. Ah. And yes, this is Gunk. I'm very pleased to meet you. So where did your friends go, Pinky? Our farm was shut down because of the water shortage. They took my friends away and put them inside a train. <laughs> I wasn't there because I was looking for something to eat. <laughs> and then I fell into a swamp and spent a lot of time trying to get out of there. When I got back, they had already put my friends inside the train. I ran as fast as I could, but no, I did not succeed. And now I'm stuck here, all sad and lonely. <laughs> hmm. So the water shortage got to you too. By any chance, do you know where they are heading? I don't. I am very sorry to hear that. I really hope you can find them. Okay then, time to go now. Do you even know where we're going? To find the treasure, of course. We must hurry up before anyone else finds it. He's right. We need to find that treasure soon. Really? Are we gonna leave the ox here all alone? But what can we do to help him? I don't know. But I'm sure Pinky's going to need our help. We have to help him find his friends no matter what. Ah. Uh... Why do you always have to be such a noble creature? Pagu, do you regret helping Eldwin and his assistant, Guck? It was you who decided to scare the wolf. You were the one who came up with the idea, don't you remember? We just can't ignore people in need, especially when we know they need our help. <sighs> You're right, let's do this. Your words were beautiful, nicely put, Sagu. Yes, we are all going to help Pinky. Gaga? I'm thinking. Don't interrupt my thoughts. The train. Oh, the train. Yes, they left on a train. I've been looking at all the trains that pass by, but no luck. <laughs> That's it. We'll take the train. Weren't you all complaining about my motorcycle speed, huh? We will go way faster if we take the train. According to Pinky, his friends got on a train that passed by this area, so we may be able to find them. Yay, hooray! Oh, I hope you're right, I really do. 
how are we going to get on a train? Gah, gah. Goofy Crow, haven't you noticed? We don't have any wings. Moreover, I've never seen you using those wings to fly around. I'm serious. You just sit on top of me. Do you know where the nearest station is? We can't just go to the station. They'll catch us in a heartbeat. Gah, gah. Gah, gah. Oh, please, don't bother me. I need some time to think. Hey, Pinky, are you sure everyone calls you Pinky? Oh, yes. I already told you my name is Pinky. I, I, I don't understand why you're so surprised. I just don't get it. Well, you're not completely pink. Only your nose is pink. <laughs> That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> you're so funny. <laughs> hmm. I will prove it to you right now. Huh? Now you can see what color you are. Oh, I look extremely dirty. I look like I'm mostly black. I shouldn't have walked around dust and dirt. Listen, leave Pinky alone. I think he deserves to know the truth. <gasps> ah! Pinky! I'm right here. Why are you yelling? Ah! Ah, you are really, really pink. Are you sure that you're okay? Listen, appearances can be very deceiving. That's a lesson we must never forget. Oh, you're right. I, I'm very sorry, Pinky. To be honest, I've never seen a pink ox before. No need to be sorry about it. I'm used to it. Everybody looks at me like I'm different, but I'm an ox just like the rest of my ox friends. And all I want to do is be together with them. <laughs> we must put an end to this water shortage. We can't keep living like this. <sighs> we won't have that problem once we find the treasure. Correct. But we need to find that treasure first. Listen, Eldwin. I'd like to ask you a question. The note that was on the map, tell me who wrote it? My wife. Huh? Did your wife give you that map? Mm -hmm. But where is she now? Unfortunately, we lost track of each other. See, you and I are in the same situation, Pinky. Oh, I really hope I can find my wife one day. I'm sorry if my question upset you. Well, as you said, Everything will be fine once we find the treasure. Uh, Eldwin, are you 100% sure this plan will really work? What if the train doesn't stop at all? Don't worry about a thing. Our plan will work. Just don't move too much. Come on, Pinky. You need to move right now. The train is coming. Do you want to look like ground meat? Move! <laughs> oh, I don't understand gibberish at all. Well, I don't think anybody here understands that gibberish. Excuse me, Mr. Driver. I mean, your majesty. I will be out of your way in a minute. <laughs> He's just a stubborn ox. <laughs> Dancing out of joy! <laughs> oh, come on, let's dance too! Tunnel! There's a tunnel right ah! ahead! We're going inside the tunnel! Tunnel! Are they saying tunnel? No, I think they're saying the word funnel. The word funnel? Oh, yes, funnel. At least that's what I heard, the word funnel. But why would they say funnel? 
No, no. I think they said tunnel. But why would they say the word tunnel? Huh? Oh, tunnel! Ah! Wasn't funnel. Well, I think I made a tiny mistake. Hey guys, why don't you come here? Okay, we're coming. <sighs> They're coming. Oh, that was fast. Shh, please be quiet. Guck, go up and take a look and be careful. <laughs> I caught you, and now you won't escape. <laughs> Give me that map right away, or I will break you all into tiny pieces. I'm talking to you too, you liar. Uh, well, uh, if you forgive me, we can teach you how to read and write. <laughs> I'm telling you one more time, this is not a treasure map. You're coming after me for no reason. Do you think I'm that stupid, you villain turtle? That treasure will be mine and only mine. of this train. Don't ah! you dare open your mouth! personality. <laughs> Don't forget to say hello to the moon for us! Wow, Adolf got you a bit jealous, Gun. Did you see that? She gets to fly more than you ever have your entire life! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, Pagoo. You are the first person to send an astronaut all the way to the moon. We are all very proud of your work. Can you share with us some words? <laughs> of course, I am also proud of myself. We also need to mention Edelwolf for her enthusiasm and willingness to go all the way to the moon. Her enthusiasm was an inspiration for me and for all of us. <laughs> We heard some rumors that you were jealous because you wanted to fly and land on the moon. Don't worry about the moon, dear God. We'll send you to Pluto someday. <laughs> <laughs> and Pinky Ox, that unsung hero of this story, is here with us. We all noticed you were the one who gave the final push to send Adelwolf to the moon. Pinky, why are you so sad? I'm thinking about my friends. I'm starting to wonder if I'll ever see them again. Don't worry about these things now, Pinky. At least we know we are on the right track. We are following their steps. Follow their steps, but where to? Oh, come on, Pinky. Being sad doesn't solve a thing. Come on, cheer up. 
How about we sing a song? have been placed horizontally. You will travel in a straight line. Remember, after we fire all those fireworks, you need to count to five, and then you need to release them. Otherwise, you'll be dead meat. Thank you so much for giving me your precious motorcycle, Elwin. Just be very careful, and don't forget what I said. <laughs> Goodbye, Gunk. Be careful, Pinky. Take care of yourself. We are so glad we met you. I mean it. You are the world's pinkiest ox. Thank you so much, guys. I wish you the best. Okay, it's time for you to go now. <laughs> that was great! Yeah, you made it! Goodbye, dear Pinky! <laughs> said, do you really think you can beat me in the race? The turtle replied, stop bragging about your speed, you little rabbit. But the rabbit didn't listen. He said, <laughs> you tell another one then. Why do you say this story is boring? I think it's very funny. Tell us, what will you do with the treasure once you uh, find it? I don't know. I don't have to do anything special. I just need to find the treasure. Owner of Seafleaky Fried Chicken. I might open a fried chicken farm. That will be awesome, a fried chicken farm. <laughs> fried chicken everywhere. <laughs> fried chicken will be everywhere. Uh, please calm down, Sagu. Mm -hmm. You look very hungry. <clears throat> you need to eat something now. Here, take these few prunes. You'll feel better. Mm, thank you. Mm. Ah, I'll own some land with beautiful fruit trees. Seeing the trees blooming and the fruits growing every single day must be a very rewarding experience. Must be spectacular. Moreover, I'll give my fruits for free to anyone who wants them. The salesman will be so jealous. I'm sure he'll be complaining every day. But how are you going to water all of your fruit trees? As you can see, we have a huge water shortage. Um, uh, um, I, I know, um, uh, well, uh... And you, Sagu? How are you going to run your farm without water? The chickens will need water to grow. I know, but I, I, I haven't really thought about it. That's a shame. It seems to me like you'll need that salesman for the rest of your lives. Did you hear somebody talking? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Pay attention, somebody's crying. Wow, I think someone needs some help. Yes, someone needs our help. Oh, come on, guys. Don't start with that again. Gah, gah. Let's go and see what happens. Oh, my dear citizens, we have a problem. We don't have water. The river's dried up, and there are no more trees. So I'm asking you, 
Where can I find some twigs to chew on? Where can I find a river where I can build dams out of branches? Oh, I've been gnawing stones for months, my friends. Stones! Who's he talking to? I don't see anybody. At this point, he's probably insane. I am a beaver, my dear friends. Therefore, I need some trees. I need water. Where can I find some? How can I live without it? I must say farewell to all of you, my dear friends. I am leaving this waterless place. Farewell, friends. I'm leaving this very dry land. Farewell, little rocks. Farewell, big stones. And just so you know, it wasn't fun chewing you. It was tough! Uh, are you okay, dear beaver? Did you get hurt, huh? And who are you? Hello there. We all heard you talking and thought you needed some help. And that's very nice of you. However, there's no way on earth you can help me. Uh, my name is Felix Foster. It's a real pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is ours, Felix. It's not Felix. It's Felix. Felix. I have a question, Felix. Who are you just talking to? Uh, to no one, of course. Because there is no one left here. Everyone ran away because of the thirst and the drought. I don't have any reason to live in this place anymore. All alone, without friends. Well then, what were you just doing? My friends think you've gone a bit insane. And to be quite honest with you, I completely agree with them. I hope I'm not making you feel uncomfortable. It was just a symbolic protest. I fight for a cause. I'm protesting because of the drought. I'm protesting that our country is a desert. I'm protesting because there's no water. It's a symbolic protest. I understand. But do you think things will change when you're protesting alone? Hey, you should come and join us. Come on. Uh, but my name is not Felix. It's Felix. It's Felix. Oh, I'm sorry, Felix. Don't you think... We should come up with a more concrete plan to fight against all this water shortage. We shouldn't be wasting water. Water is vital, let's not forget it. We need to raise awareness and we need to start educating others. It's too late for that, my friend. I've been gnawing stones for months. Stones and more stones. We shouldn't give up that easily. We shouldn't. Everything will be okay once we find that treasure. I know. Did you just say treasure? Oh, yes. A hefty treasure. We can help you with your protest after we find it. But what will the treasure do for us? Can it make the trees grow again here? Can it make the water flow again? Listen to me, my dear friends. When the last river dries, when the last tree dies and the last fish disappears, you will understand that having a hefty treasure by your side will not buy you those things. Ah! Ah! You're absolutely right, Felix. And I can promise you that everything will be all right. But what good can complaining do? It's pointless. We need to work harder than ever, and we need to leave the tough times in the past. We need to make the world a better place, the way it used to be. Well, my friend, you really know how to talk, eh? I envy you. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. It sounded huh? like Adel, huh? No, it didn't. Uh. That's impossible. We sent her straight to the moon. But she's not the only wolf in the world. Got that? We must be careful with wolves. Friends, I'll take care of you, I promise. You need to have a good rest. You need to recover and get ready to continue your journey. Thank you so much, Felix. Oh, dear. It's not Felix. It's Felix. Felix. Huh? Oh, you're right. Felix. Have a good night. <clears throat> Listen to me, dear friends. Oh, uh, no, no. This can't go on like this. The time has come. We need to wake up now. We must do something. Felix! Felix, it's time to wake up. You said you were going to take care of us. Oh, dear. Uh, um, uh, I'm very sorry, my dear friends, but uh, I must have fallen asleep for a few minutes, that's all. Achoo! I think you probably caught a cold. Oh, no, no. Achoo! I don't think so. 
There is a wolf nearby. A wolf? A wolf? Really? really? Where? Where? You meant to say worm. A woodworm. A woodworm? Do you see any wood in this area? There is no more wood around here. Our food supply is being taken away bit by bit, friends. Aren't we going to do something about it? Otherwise, we are going to... Felix, do you think hmm? that there's a wolf nearby? It must be a wild wolf. <laughs> uh, I'm allergic to wolves. I am. Uh, listen, I know it's close by. <laughs> All right, don't panic. Take a look at this. We have a new guest. <laughs> you really scared us, my friend. What are you doing in this area? I'm extremely sorry, sir. I was very cold last night. I saw the fire and decided to get closer, but I didn't mean to cause any trouble, sir. Where's your family? I don't have a family. I don't, sir. Never had one. No? Then what's your name? Caden. What do you say, guys? I don't think we should leave Caden alone in this area. We won't leave him. It's clear that he doesn't have anybody. Felix is allergic to wolves, so we can't leave it with him. But we shouldn't abandon him. He looks like a really good boy. I'm sure I can train him and make him a nice, respectful young wolf. Ah, gah, gah. Are you really scared of this innocent little wolf? What's wrong with you, you unscrupulous crow? Gah. We'll see you around, Felix. I hope things improve by the time we see each other. Well, it is great to know we both think alike. I feel so alive. We'll win this battle against drought, I promise. Felix Foster will be at your service. <laughs> at all times. Can you please take the little wolf? Goodbye, Felix. Goodbye. It's not Felix, it's Felix, Felix. <sighs> How much do we have to walk uh, to get to the fairy rocks where you left your plane? We're not that far from there. I would say no more than a few hours. Uh, maybe we shouldn't have given the motorcycle to Pinky, huh? Yeah, but how else was he going to get off the train? Hey, relax. I know we did the right thing. But I am so tired. We need to learn to take responsibility for our actions and behavior, Pagu. But you lost the motorcycle you had for the past 30 years. Doesn't that make you sad? You must never forget this important lesson. Material possessions do not bring happiness into our lives. How about we take a break? We need to rest for a little while. Hmm. Oh, you're right. Where is Caden? He was walking right beside us. Stop the nonsense, Guck. Oh, there he is. Caden, where have you been hiding? I'm extremely sorry, sir, but I got distracted when I saw a rabbit. I decided to go after it, but it ran away. Oh. <laughs> of course it did. You probably scared him. Does that mean that I'm a scary little wolf? <laughs> Impertinent crow. You can't tell the poor kid you'll be a scary wolf when you grow up. This is incredible! Oh, what kind of a plane is that? <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? I used a submarine to build it. I'm very proud of myself. You are a talented turtle, Elwin. So this is a flying submarine? What a creative idea! <laughs> you are making me blush, guys. This submarine was nothing but a complete wreck. To tell you the truth, it took me three years to transform it into a plane. Its weight was too... <coughs> of course I'm bragging. If you build something like this, you can brag about it too. <coughs> and the best part, this thing can fly. And it looks like it works all by itself. <coughs> and, well, to be quite honest, I don't even remember adding such a feature when I was building it. <laughs> what on earth are you doing here? Why are you inside my airplane? Well, I accidentally pushed a button and this thing started. But you were... You were supposed to be on the moon. You were our national accomplishment. Stop the engine now. Uh, but how? 
how do I stop this? The pull the power lever on the right. Do it right now. But which one is the right? No, no, she doesn't know left from right. The other side, the other side. I think this is the right. No, no, this is right and this is left. No, no, this is left and this is right. Uh, oh no! Uh, oh. Remember, I'm just a turtle. Don't make me run any longer or you will be sorry for the rest of your life. Ah. Ah. Ah, don't say a word. Ah. I could find the right one if I pull all of them. I didn't do anything. Uh, don't touch anything. Listen to me, don't touch anything. We should have sent you to a mental institution instead of the moon. Elwood, this place will turn into hell unless we do something. I think I can stop this machine if I pull that lever towards me. Come on. Come on, let's jump on that plane! Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> <coughs> swim over here? I'm very sorry, my friend, but it would be very dangerous and harmful. See? Even the fish have washed up on the shore. Oh no, poor little fish. Uh, we came to the sea, and we can't even put our feet in the water. Unfortunately, you're right, Pagu. We better continue our journey. Eldwin? What is it, Saku? There's something I can't understand. How on earth did Edelwolf find your plane? That's a really good question, Noble Saku. All I can think is she must have been following us for quite some but time. But she found the plane way before us. And that means she knew the location of the plane before we even got there. I believe we need to go that way. Ah, uh, there is nothing here. Are you sure we came to the right place, Eldwin? Hmm... Where did I put that? Ka! Ka! Huh? Where is Caden? I wonder if he's chasing some other animals. Huh? Shh! Huh? Caden! Ka! 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 Yes, Guck. You were absolutely right. So you betrayed us all, Caden. Well, of course he did it. My boy is such a smart wolf. Clearly, he is smarter than you, lady. Remember I told you that the map would be mine? My son managed to take the map by following my plan. Now tell me, who is smarter? Bring me that map right away, Caden. 
It's not nice to take people's belongings without their permission. Can I return it? Are you insane, Caden? Of course you cannot. The treasure will be ours. That map is very valuable to me. I will have to take it from your hands. Come on and take it, if you can. What are you doing, Elvin? Ah. You guys stay out of this. You too, God. Ah. Ah. And now, let's put an end to this! I want to thank you for what you did. You saved my little boy. I have no words to express how sorry I am. You chose to save my son instead of the map. I am ashamed for all the trouble we have caused you so far. We were desperate. We have been starving for months. The treasure was our last chance for a better future. But I shouldn't have tried to hurt you the way that I did. I hope you can forgive me one day. Of course we forgive you, Edelwolf. This drought has affected all of us, but, but we need to be smarter. We must join forces instead of fighting against each other. I owe you one. I am ready to do whatever you ask me to. Come with us. Let's find that treasure. Are you serious? But I... Do you want your child to live in a clean world? Of course I do. Then you two should come with us. I'm sorry, Elwin, but the map is gone. How are we going to find the treasure like this? We're very close. I remember the location that was shown on the map. I know we can still find the treasure. And why are we still here? Let's go find that treasure. But the entrance you mentioned is nowhere near here. We looked everywhere. I think the entrance is right over there. <laughs> Since we couldn't find an entrance above sea level, I'm sure there must be a passage underwater. I can't see anything. The water is so blurry. Is the sea always like that, sir? The sea used to be very beautiful, but they polluted it, and it became dirty and contaminated. Who has done all this harm? Ah! Ah! Watch out, everyone! Ah! Found the entrance. This is such a beautiful place. Just be careful and try not to touch anything. Splitting in two. Come on, jump now. Stop there. Hey, the wolf, don't come. Why did you come back? Now we won't be able to make it. I'll make sure you make it. Don't cry. Don't 
Don't cry, little Caden. I'm sure your mother is okay. You know she's a very strong wolf. Oh? Huh? Mommy? I'm okay, Mommy. Please be careful. Don't worry, little wolf. Soon we will all be together again. I give you my word. Right there. The treasure is there. All our troubles will be gone forever, my friend. Hello, cool waters. Hello, tasty watermelons. Hello, fried and juicy chicken. <laughs> One thousand. One thousand. <laughs> uh, yes? Dear Bosk, our new product is ready. That's great. However, dear boss, there's a... Uh, uh, what I really mean to say is... Come on, whatever it is, now just spit it out. Uh, 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 boss, we couldn't really produce the amount of product we were expecting to make. What? Do you really want me to repeat what I just told you, boss? Why couldn't you produce that amount? What is this nonsense? You see, boss, it's very hard to cool down the gas boilers at this point. But we are using an entire water source for that. How come it's not enough? What's going on? It's just not enough, boss. I'm sorry, boss. Hmm. Hmm. So what should we do now? We need to increase the production. Solve this problem no matter what. What else do you do besides calling me boss? Boss, in fact, I think I've found a solution for this. Then why aren't you telling me about this grand solution, you fool? Boss, we could use the seawater. All we need to do is install a pipeline for it. Do whatever you need to do. We need to meet the numbers as soon as possible. Right away, boss. There's one more thing, just one. What is it? There was a leakage in one of the boilers, and some of the workers were poisoned. What? Are they okay? Thankfully, they're okay. But they were sent to the clinic. I was talking about the boilers! Are the gas boilers working properly? Oh, yes, boss. The boilers were immediately repaired. Oh, that's good to hear. Don't let the poisoned workers linger around in the clinic. We don't have any time to waste. You can leave now if there are no other issues. I'm leaving, boss. I'm leaving right now. And... 999,000. <laughs> what kind of place is this? And why would they build it underwater? Because it's an illegal facility. They've built it underwater in order to do whatever they're doing, so they can keep it under wraps from the public eye. What kind of things could they be doing? Don't you see it? They've been using our water supply, and therefore our land has dried up. Why are they doing this? Why are they using our water supply? They're using it to produce something. We have to find out what that is. This is the place where our water gets contaminated, and then the fish get killed. What a horrible, horrible place. Yes, Caden. This is a horrible place. And they built it right where the treasure is. I'm so mad at these people. Hmm. We must be very quiet. Cook, don't you dare open that big beak. Ah, the treasure is somewhere around here. I can feel it. We are close. Uh, treasure! What? Where? Uh, huh? Where? Where? I can't see it. Treasure. Treasure! <laughs> Where's the treasure, Eldwin? How come I can't see it? Treasure! I'm here! Eldwin? Treasure, are you okay? Did anyone hurt you? I'm okay, Eldwin. Now I am okay. I've been waiting for you for such a long time. I am here, Treasure. I am here. I'm here with you.
I'm so sorry you lost your home, Eldwin. Thankfully, you were able to find your treasure. You've gone through horrible things, and I am sorry for all that's happened to you, but why did you lie to us? You taught us a lesson when we met Pinky. You said we shouldn't be fooled by appearances. You found your treasure, but we were left empty-handed. You have every right to get mad at me. I lied to all of you. But you have to remember one thing. You were in a very miserable situation when we first met. And I somehow knew this facility was the reason behind it. I thought we could all find a solution if you came with me and joined forces to fight against this evil place. And if I had told you the truth from the start, you wouldn't have wanted to come with me. Perhaps you wouldn't have believed my story. But now, my friends, you realize that everything makes sense. I mean, I guess you're right. This doesn't change a thing. You know we came here with high hopes of finding the hefty treasure. We won't become rich just because you told us the truth. Tomorrow we will be hungry and thirsty as usual. Calm down, kids. I promise you won't be hungry. Treasure, you need to rest for a while. Oh, I'm fine, Edwin. Look. Don't you understand? We're standing in front of the place that caused the drought. This place lost us our homes, and we are not the only ones suffering the consequences. They're drying up the rivers, poisoning the water, and contaminating our wonderful sea. And as a result, our green soils have turned into deserts. But we can end this if we work as a team. All it takes is a collective effort to get rid of this poisonous facility. Yeah, I see. But how can we do such a thing? Are we going to seal the facility's door forever? <laughs> That's correct, Sagu. And it will be such a strong seal that no power in the world will be able to destroy it. Guck, you're going to follow any trucks leaving the premises to wherever they go. And you're going to tell our friends what is going on in here and that they need to come as soon as possible because we're going to need their help. Guck! It is time to get back what was taken from us. Let's do this, my friends. Ah! What? I'm sorry, but could you please stand over there? Come on, guys. Pay attention. I want to thank you all for coming here today and being so willing to help us. We have finally found the place who's responsible for leaving some of our friends homeless and for poisoning not only the water we drink, but also our oceans. We can destroy it with your help if we work as a team. But we're outnumbered. I don't see how we'll be able to destroy the whole place by ourselves. Excuse me, Mr. Picky Odds. I ask you to please not interrupt this lady, because I am amazed at her eloquence and logic. Your speech is admirable, ma'am. Thank you so much, Felix. It's not Felix. It's Felix. Felix. Pinky, don't be fooled by the fact that we are outnumbered. We can overcome everything as long as we work together as a team. And that means that everyone must work hard towards the same goal. Which, in this case, will be the boilers where the poisonous gas is produced. Those boilers get really hot, and the only way to lower their temperature is by cooling them down with water. But if we can stop the water flow, the boilers will immediately get hotter and explode. And last but not least, what we need to do is come up with an escape plan. Beavers will be in charge of this part. They're at your service, dear lady. Pinky, you are going to take care of the excavation along with the moles. Very well, madam. Sagu and Pagu, I want you to go with Eldwin and make sure the boilers explode. <laughs> 
I have a silly question. Aren't we going to explode as well? I think I'm much better at digging holes. And I am known as a great watchman. I also have to add that I suffer from claustrophobia. Oh, don't be scared, kids. After we stop the water flow, we will have five minutes to escape. During this time, we will go to a designated safe place. And what shall I do? You don't have to do anything, Kate. It's a very dangerous task. We want you to be safe so we can bring you back to your mom. But I want to help, even if it's dangerous. Oh! <laughs> Believe me, son, staying away from me would be enough. I mean it. You will do a lot of things when you grow up. But now all you need to do is to survive and be safe. That's all we really want. All right, everyone. Let's get to work, my friends. Hooray! Let's, Let's get, get to work! work. Let's go! Friend. Hello, Fred. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be dealing with our escape plan? Oh, yes, I was. Uh, but they dismissed me because apparently I talk too much. So I decided to come here and help you. I've specialized in gnawing stones, my friend. Oh, you don't know. I've been chewing stones for months. My teeth are so sharp they could cut diamonds. But I need trees. My friend, I need water! Look at that! Such a creepy place! I can feel the boiler's high temperature all the way from here! Do you see the water pipes filling the boilers up? Pay attention to the valves down there! Listen, the water flow will stop as soon as we shut those down! But it'll be tough! This place is full of guards! Well, what are we gonna do now? I'm going to distract those guards. And then, as soon as they're out of the room, you will go and shut the valves. Hmm. Looks pretty easy. Well, let's get this party started. I'll make some noise from the other side of the room when the time comes. You'll need to move fast as soon as the guards leave the room. And please do not waste any time. Okay, Eldwin. You can trust us with this mission. But please be careful. <laughs> yes, that's it, Felix. You can stop now. I think that's enough, or the place will collapse on top of us. I'm sorry, my pinky friend. I got carried away. Well, we're done with this part. We should be leaving soon. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, oh, I'll let them know about it. Come on, what on earth are we waiting for? Calm down. I'm sure they haven't finished digging. There was very, 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 don't you get the feeling we are in a completely strange world? Maybe I do, although that wouldn't surprise me at all. This looks like one of those mental institutions. You know, any normal person would get crazy after spending two days in this place. Maybe it's an institution for the mentally ill. Ugh. Ugh. Or a bakery infested with ugly cockroaches. Uh, what a pity. Those boilers should be making cakes and desserts instead of toxic material. Ugh. And we should be talking about the fact that no one had caught us. When we were kids, we were the fastest kids in school. Huh? But now we get caught. I'm sorry, Aldwin. We've been caught. As you can see, unfortunately, we're all in the same situation. We failed the mission. I know. But we were so close, my friends. And now it seems we're close to our own end. If we can stop the water flow, the boilers will immediately get hotter and explode. Going on. Somebody must have shut the valve down. <laughs> Why are you sneezing again? 
Caden is not here. I'll shoot. There's a wolf nearby. Ah, 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 Edelwolf, how did you get here? I spent days looking for a way in. Come on, we don't have much time. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> Everybody to the rafts. Hurry up, friends. an invaluable treasure. No amount of money could replace it. We cannot thank you enough, Eldwin. We are all very proud of ourselves because we got our homes back to the way they always were. All right, all right. No need to thank me. It was teamwork. We know that, but the biggest thanks goes to treasure. We couldn't have managed to get rid of that place without her belief and guidance. And I couldn't have managed all that without your devotion and support. You should be proud of yourselves. You learned a very big lesson. Now you can overcome anything if you work together. Thank you, everyone. What a great personality and such an inspiring speech. Hip, hip, hooray, treasure! Hip, 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 hip hooray, treasure! treasure. Hello, my trusted and loyal dear friends. I come to you with much love and respect. Hello, Felix. Welcome. What do you have in your hand? It is a gift. I made a wooden chessboard for you. And I made the pieces from marble using my sharp teeth. Here. Thank you so much, Felix. That's nice of you. But we don't know how to play chess. Oh, well, I can teach you right away, my friend. It is a very easy and fun game. My dear friends, I started playing chess when I was five years old, yes. And I must say, it is a great game, and you will be fully... Hey, Sagu, do you know if Felix is here? It's not Felix. It's Felix. Yeah, he is. And what did he bring? A chessboard and lots of nonsense talk. Oh, shame. Knock, knock. Who's there? Guess who this is? The teddy bear. A bear? Where? Where is there a bear? Fell in the water. Which water? The one that's out in front of our house and everywhere. All right. That makes sense. And where is our home? In a green land with water, water and a field like 